Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this game of Heart of Iron 4, where we are playing La Resistance. In the previous recordings, in the previous stream, we got through the French Civil War, where the Communists rose up against us. Then we started to support, or rather, we started to support the Republicans in the Spanish Civil War. The Communists then rose up against us because we were getting too involved. We defeated that Civil War, then decided, you know what, we've learned no lessons from this at all. Let's intervene directly and declared war on Nationalist Spain. Nationalist Spain very nearly beat us. Uh, it was pretty close. I mean, not beat us, but almost beat the Republicans. They were down to basically nothing. Um, but we did eventually manage to push them back, won the civil war for the Republicans, the result of which was the Republicans became a Soviet puppet, because apparently the Soviets did more to help them than we did. I remember seeing about two Soviet units versus 50-odd of mine, so, bah humbug. Well, regardless, uh, Republican Spain is now a Soviet puppet, which is actually a good thing, because when the Soviets get declared war on by Germany, then Spain will be on the Soviet side. Meanwhile, the war against Germany began. Germany invaded Poland. I was not guaranteeing Poland, but I was allied to Britain. Britain joined the war, which means that Poland is still a government in exile. Then... That gave me some time to finish off Spain, which we did. We rushed north to defend Maginot and the Belgian border, just as Germany declared war on Belgium. We then came and tried to support the Belgians and the Dutch, but we were eventually pushed back. And that is where we are now, on the 15th of January, 1940. Um, what else is going on? We have defeated the Italians in Libya already. In fact, you guys are probably sitting in the middle of the desert right now. That's probably not the best idea. So let's set you to guarding the coast instead. That's probably a better plan. I'm just going to bother with my coast. I'm not going to bother with the British. Defend the ports. going to require six units. You have six units. Congratulations. Then navies are moving. Oh, we have no sound. That would probably be helpful. There it is. <clears throat> Republican Spain has a focus tree option to revolt against the Soviets. Yes, they do. So they basically have a choice. They can become a loyal puppet or they can revolt. They have not yet made their decision. The decision really is here. Because if they choose to oppose the communists, they can go down towards War of Independence and then they could try to split away. Or they can stay with the Soviets and go this path, I think. And they might even be able to do this and then this. All this requires is that Manuel Azanza is their leader. And that they've not done end fascism at all costs. So yeah, we shall see what they do. Uh, one of my plans at the moment is we do have a spy embedded in Madrid. What I would like to do is get our... I kept saying this wrong. Intel network, not infiltration. Infiltration something else. We need to get our intel network up further, and then we can start to boost the ideology. And I'm hoping that if we boost democracy in Spain, that they'll choose the anti-communist path. We shall see. Meanwhile, in France, there is not a single communist, except for the ones in, in government. We're actually in a communist coalition, even though you can see how uh, powerful they are in our government. We banned the communists. This is one of the weird things about this. We banned communists as one of the first focuses we took, and then we formed a coalition with the communists. Like, that really feels like it should be blocked. You need more men on the Alpine front. I need more men in general. The French Civil War meant that half of my army joined the communists, so my army is actually half of the size that it should be at this point. So we've taken a bit of a beating already. Not to mention the fact that we are already on extensive conscription in 1940. It's, it's, it's gone pretty badly. But we do have a lot of factories. That's, that's the one thing. We've, we've industrialized really rapidly. Which is good. And speaking of industrialization, we are currently working on 
investing in the colonies so that we can get colonial industry. Huzzah! And I want to try and hold out at least until we get these two done. I wonder if these are still doable if they... If we don't actually control those territories. It might be. I don't know. Horned Panda coming in with a 28-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thank you very much for that, Horned Panda. Very much appreciate that. Time to bleed them for the French soil. We are indeed going to be bleeding people. I'm trying to. Unfortunately, their offensive through Belgium is hitting pretty hard. What I'm tempted to do is try and get my tank divisions dug in. No, actually the tank divisions are going to be the ones who react the fastest. Um, yeah, there's not a huge amount I can do about this. Actually, yes, there is. We can reduce your line to being about here. I'll have you pull back. I'm just fighting a delaying action here, really. Okay, new technology. It is January 1940, so we probably want some kind of aircraft. Like new fighters. Would be a good idea. And we can deploy some troops. Ah, the Colonials. This is actually really good timing. Let's go ahead and deploy you there. We'll put half of you in this force. And then half of you... In a new army, I guess. Which we will set up as a defensive line in Paris. And Hunsinger can command them. Alright, cool. So we do have some backup units coming in. We're going to get some more regular infantry soon as well. We could probably deploy those ahead of schedule if it comes down to that, and we will do so. the air battle going. Not great. No, nope, definitely not good. They have 2,400 aircraft to our 1,400, of which about 200 are mine. And most of that is the RAF. <laughs> they are on the outskirts of Paris already. Uh, it's a good thing that I brought in the uh, garrison unit. You know what? I think we're going to have to deploy you right now in the Ile de France. What's that? We'll just stick you in that army. Okay, so we have some units coming in. They should be somewhat entrenched behind the river. Um, holding Paris itself is going to be the difficulty, though. To which end, I think I'm going to grab... ...you two. And say, Paris is your one and only responsibility. Meanwhile, we are being pushed back over there. We have lost one of our tank divisions, or one of our motorized, mechanized. Expeditionary forces from Belgium. Sure. Down here. Okay, of all the places I expected you, this was not it. I'll put you in the colonial garrison for now. Because they'll probably demand him back again. <clears throat> Finland rejects the Soviet demands. Soviet diplomats have presented an ultimatum to the government of Finland, demanding border adjustments in the region of Karelia. Despite a significant build-up of Soviet forces on the border, Helsinki has rejected these demands, stating that not a single foot of Finnish soil will be given willingly to the Russian aggressors. International observers fear that the Soviet invasion may be imminent. Yeah, I would say that they were right. And speaking of command staff, is there anyone that we can promote? Yes, there is. We want Tizai Leclerc to get more max planning, because we are the French and we do loads of planning. And offensive doctrine, which I thought you already had. Oh no, we couldn't afford it previously. That's right. Yeah, we're going to give you that. Okay. Giro, nothing. Bilot, nothing. De Gaulle, nothing. Wait, that was already Bilot. Just missed De Gaulle earlier. 
Uh, then we've got Ulri, who is also an infantry commander. We're going to give you infantry expert, and you're the mountaineer. So your alpine troops are going to be really good. Oh, bloody hell. Level 6 defense. Yeah. Um, no wonder they can't get through the Alps. Bye. Particularly because I was defending it with just six divisions for a long time. Versus the entire Italian army, basically. Of, if we can see, about 90 divisions. 90 versus 6. Seems like reasonable odds to me. I will say that command staff are very dapper hats. They do. They have excellent hats. Okay. Onwards. Poor old mechanized forces. The victors of the war in Spain, and look how battered they are after just a little bit of time fighting against the Germans. Uh, we have no ba divisions in basic, that's not a surprise, seeing as we are really low on basically everything. Alright, so be it. Uh, we don't have disjointed government anymore though, so it is going to be much more difficult to capitulate us. It will not just take the fall of Paris. And we got rid of uh, Victor's the Great War somehow. I'm still not entirely sure how we managed that one. But we do have inefficient economy. But hopefully we'll have a bit of time to go and deal with that. Because we could get it done, could we? I think we need economic devolution then promote entrepreneurship. That just modifies it, that doesn't remove it. Uh, ooh, that also gives more compliance. Removes national spirit, worker shortage. Non-core manpower and compliance versus worker shortage. Which is a pretty hefty population factor. I'm not sure, actually. It's an interesting one. Oops, we're counter-attacking. Please don't. Let's have you retreat now, so that we can be sure to hold on to this position. British Raj has cancelled their Lend-Lease, so be it. And they are definitely trying to encircle Maginot at the moment, which would not be great. Who's counter-attacking? Please don't. Thank you. How's the refitting coming along? Oh, okay. Now we're losing military factories. So we're going to have to cut back on basically a lot of things. Yeah, the refit's not even close to being finished. It was pretty ambitious, refitting basically our entire submarine fleet. Do I like the changes in La Resistance? I can't really say because I'm still under embargo. So I can only show you what's going on. I can't say it's good or it's bad. The Germans will have to be in Seine to cross that river. I don't get what you're saying. Very good. Because, you know, it's called the Seine River. They'd have to be in Seine. In Seine. Very good. It did take you... Uh, explaining exactly what you meant, but I get it. When's the embargo lifted? Uh, on the 25th. You're being embargoed by Paradox, but you aren't rivaled by them. <laughs> Actually, I do want these counterattack into here if you would be so gracious. You go ahead and attack there to stop them reinforcing. Uh, except you failed. Alright, this is now too dangerous. So we are going to pull back en masse to here. 
And please, take the train. Sorry, Britain, but we are totally just leaving you on your own. He's pilot. Good. Get out of here! And you. Um, let's reduce this line as well. Alright, so we're holding pretty firm around Paris at the moment. We do have a lot of troops in there. Metz is going to fall soon. Nancy is about to fall. And yeah, they're now just rushing across Maginot. But I would say that we managed that withdrawal pretty well. We're holding this line as well. Meanwhile, we've inflicted 333,000. Like, the kill death on our side is really good. Like, we are making the Germans and the Italians pay for every square kilometer that they are taking from us. Paris full? Nope. Paris is holding. Although they are trying to hit it pretty hard. But then again, we are also defending it pretty hard. Let's also take a look where our planes are at the moment. Um, so currently they are somewhat divided. I think we should probably just go ahead and start defending this area with everything we've got. Continue the attack. And actually, I'm somewhat tempted to put you guys on the Alpine front. No, defending this river is important. And in fact, what I could start doing is this. Withdraw from here. Get behind the rivers everywhere. to here. As long as I can get out Bessancon. Gardez vos distances. We are now halfway to capitulation. So what I'm thinking I might do is try and save my armor divisions. Attention. Because they have been pretty good. Okay, new focus. Um, France indivisible, or do we want to try and double down on the industry? I think we've kind of got to. So let's go and invest in Indochina. The long distance between our holdings in Indochina and our heartland may seem like a drawback, but it also protects any industry there was from enemy attack. You guys are retreating in the right direction. You are. Good. Good, good, good. And it looks like we're now holding. I mean, this is crossing a river into mountains. Good luck with that. And all of that's holding quite nicely. I mean, they're going to be gaining a bunch of divisions once we've taken the salient out. Thankfully, I seem to have actually gotten out completely scot-free. We've lost one unit. Which is pretty good going. All things considered. Okay, so I'm going to say that you are no longer responsible for this part of the line. You are responsible up to here. Oh, bugger, we did get cut off. <clears throat> oh well. Still one division loss. Pretty good going. And now we can really inflict the damage. Fighting in favorable territory. Hold that position, guys. 
Oh, actually, this is the better spot to hold. I just don't want to let them get this close to um, Paris, because then they can really surround it. Revenge for Dunkirk, letting the Brits hold on to Maginot. I mean, they are. They're going down with a fight. There's nobody guarding that. That Prono, oh you're guarding Paris. I think this is going to be your job. Quite frankly. And we have a technology. I would like to continue getting prepared defences, please, and I will pay the price. Netherlands wants to send me a unit. Thank you very much. You are also in Africa, because of course you are. Attach you to our... North Africa Defense Corps. Okay, they are trying to attack here, which does make sense. Like, this is the weak spot. It's it's open, it's plains. I mean, if we defend these two, then it gets a little bit easier. And we can always withdraw behind this river, if we need to. Yeah, we just need to wait until all of this falls. I mean, right now it's holding, somehow. What's the new alert icon on the right? That one? Or that one? I'm not seeing any new alert icons. Oh, it's gone. In that case, I don't know. Although, one thing we should probably check is the state of our espionage. So you're still trying to steal their military blueprints. Oh, all of you, in fact, are stealing the military blueprints. So, 134 days, and hopefully we can steal their uh, medium tanks. That would be nice. <clears throat> yeah, German air support is crushing us at the moment. I was kind of hoping that the RAF would do a little bit better than they have. When did France f historically fall? As long as I can hold for longer than that, it's all good. Soviets and Finland have made peace. I want to see if there's anything else we could be doing. Recognizing some governments in exile, but I think at this point I kind of want to save political power. Oh, that's a bit of a break. Alright, we're going to back off and try and defend Vichy through to Lyon. You back off right now. Because here they have a river crossing. Then it's going to be this tile which is going to be the soft spot. Yeah, they're hitting here pretty hard. Looks like they want it. All right, then. How are we doing? Still 45%, and we are still doing a lot of damage to them. So just keep on holding. Do what you can. That's an empty spot right there. Oh, yeah. Like that. Looks like we've got the Italians completely stymied, and in fact we're doing damage to them. Can I see anything about the Italians right now? Go to here, then Intel. Only a little bit. We can't see how much of their stockpile they're using. Oh, but we can see how much stockpile they have, and it's basically nothing. <laughs> No AT, no artillery, no infantry equipment. They have loads of motorized, no fighters, a couple of other planes, no support, no light tanks. So yeah, the Italians are completely done in terms of equipment. And even Germany is not looking too hot. Oh no, yes they are. They have 31,000, 50,000 guns. 55,000 guns. Yeah, Germany's fine. 
These guys are still holding. I guess they're getting supply from Strasbourg and Mulhouse. Because I know victory uh, points can give you a little bit. Has fallen. They are slowly but surely turning Paris into a salient. Because we are struggling to hold everywhere else. Right, how are we doing? Invest in Indochina is still going. When do I give in? That's going to be the question here. When? Because any forces left on a French corps are lost. I think it's time for me to get you out. Paris is starting to lose. Okay, um... do this. Giro's army seems to be the strongest. I can probably get you guys out relatively easily. Although you're also the ones who are completely holding that line. You lot have basically given up already. So I'm going to say Bilot... You try and retreat to there. I believe if they're at sea, they're also saved. Yeah, Paris is about to fall. Alright. Uh, Hunsinger, I'm going to leave you behind. Jill, save what you can. Get out of there. You. I'm going to try and save the Alpine units. If we can. The colonial units I don't mind so much because they're a lot weaker, they're a lot smaller. There's the fall of Paris. While fighting still rages elsewhere in France, reports are coming of German troops entering Paris. The capital was declared an open city by French forces moments before the last units retreated. Several columns of German troops recreated the Prussian Victory Parade of 1871 by marching down the Champs-Élysées, while Parisians looked on in stunned silence. Military experts predict that the collapse of France is imminent. Uh, not imminent. I mean, it's soon, but it's not imminent. Those guys are retreating already. Alright, I'm going to say you lot, en masse, save yourselves. Off you go. 